Hello everyone, this is Juvarule77 coming at you with this special video review of Transformers Masterpiece Optimus Prime Toys R Us exclusive or as many will know this uh, this Masterpiece one, it's MP10 uh, that's the, the name uh, back uh, uh, with the Takara version and we have here Optimus Prime with his trailer and it's a very awesome re-edition of Re, re remold of uh, Masterpiece Optimus Prime from the first MP1. Uh, many of you may have uh, the MP1 or the 20th anniversary Masterpiece Optimus Prime, and I can say without doubt that this is uh, far much better than the first one, uh, to my point of view, uh, simply because it does have a very cool transformation. Uh, it's less heavy, it's less metal than the other one, and I simply like uh, the transformation on this one uh, than the first version of Optimus Prime. So uh, this is a very cool uh, uh, vehicle, uh, already available at Toys R Us. Uh, I bought it uh, online, and I purchased two of these, and I can say to you that it's really, really awesome. This figure. Uh, you can see uh, the movement here with his trailer really nice really really nice yeah. so we have Optimus Prime in his G1 colors and G1 vehicle mode uh, red with the blue and some uh, shiny metal uh, painting metallic uh, silver there the Autobot symbol which is not a sticker it's molded into the plastic as well as on his trailer uh, the Autobot symbol is also molded in his trailer and these are not stickers these are actually color scheme from from the trailer and the trailer itself it's uh, almost uh, silver metallic uh, color and it's a very very nice uh, 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 colored right there that we have uh, on the plastic. Uh, it does have some legs here, so you can pull off some legs so the trailer will go down. You go one. Uh, all trailers, all actual trailers, uh, they have uh, these legs uh, a little bit. Uh, more behind there but it's Optimus Prime so it's a little bit different and of course you have the usual legs like uh, the G1 there you go and when you slide this to the front uh, you can see that this piece will go down something like that very nice and one thing that I like about this figure it's that uh, the wheels are rubber so that's uh, a thing that I like about the G1 figures and I'm really glad that they're making uh, this with uh, the masterpiece uh, figure so this is really awesome here on the back we have the doors and of course we have their roller which uh, it's this uh, blue dark blue figure his red light right there six wheels uh, and actually you can fit uh, I, I was going to say Sam with wiki but it's a spike with wiki uh, I have with wiki right here inside uh, Optimus Prime it's this little figurine that comes uh, in the package uh, you can fit this guy inside the inside the, the truck or you can fit this guy inside roller so there we have spike with wiki driving roller something like that and this is a really small figure uh, the thing is that it does not have uh, any eyes painted or mouth it's just a face molded into the plastic and that's it, it does have knee articulation does not have elbow articulation but you can have rotation here on the arm 360 
So it's a very small figure, much more smaller uh, from the usual Human Alliance uh, figurines. It's a little bit more smaller than than those ones. But I'm going to put this guy aside. And the other thing that it does have roller, it does have the capability to plug in the trailer. Something like like a crane will do. So you open this panel and bring this panel here to the back and rotate this close and you can put the trailer right there. So there you have roller pulling the trailer. So he can take it to his master Optimus Prime. Very nice that that feature. Really love that. Let me open this. Now let's open uh, the trailer. We have here uh, both doors open, so you need just to open both sizes. And there we have the actual trailer. And let me put here Optimus Prime. Just to get this out of the way. And this is the trailer. And you can see there's the weapon storage. There's the EN cannon right there. And we have the Energon X, which on my figure came with a loose thing there. It's very loose. This is where you put uh, Optimus hand, so he can have his Energon X. But somehow this is very, very loose on on my on my version. I don't know if that's uh, the case on everyone's Optimus Prime, but my version came very loosey. So of course it does have his ramp, the Ian Cannon. And it does have this thing here, which is the one that operates Optimus Prime. And there's the, the maintenance dock. So you have there Optimus Prime, you can see. And uh, the battle station here does have uh, a cockpit here, so you can open this cockpit. And you can actually fit Spike with Wiki also inside. So there you have Spike with Wiki fixing Optimus Prime, everything that is wrong with him. There you go. Very nice. So, uh, and those are some other station there, post stations, which where you can fit also a spike with weight right there. So, very nice, very detailed. So, let's put uh, the trailer aside. This is uh, the man maintenance dock where you have Optimus Prime in his robot mode. But first, we're going to transform Optimus Prime. So. We're going to put the trailer aside here and go on with Optimus Prime. So, let me just fix here my camera. So, there we have Optimus Prime in his truck mode. And you can see it's a very, very nice version of Optimus Prime. Uh, it does have here his crotch there showing off. Uh, this is where you plug uh, the trailer with these two holes there. Uh, it does have six wheels and they're rubber. It only has uh, the, the Autobot symbol right there, not on this shoulder. It's very shiny, very detailed, and I really love uh, this figure. It rolls very well, as you can see. All six, all six wheels uh, hit the ground very nicely 
So to transform Optimus Prime, the first thing you have to do is to pull uh, the these smoke stacks here up, up, because in the transformation they will get on the way if they're all, all down. You can see there. So you pull them up. Uh, the mirrors, yes, right there. And the first thing you need to do is to push this, so you can bring this piece of the fence to the side and this panel. Bring it down and bring down this other panel like so so there we have that part already done and like you do in, in G1 Optimus you just pull his arms like this just like you do on the generation 1 Optimus Prime Uh, you open these windows and you need to release here his head there's his robot head very nice and you pull here all the grail with this part of the, the fence up and down and then you rotate uh, the wheel 180 degrees you pull these pieces inside there this once you've done that uh, you pull this up and these pieces will go on the back and there we are forming his body there we'll do the same here oh and there you go you can close now both windows and now you will release this and bring this here uh, to fo finish and form his front body and there you go pretty done let's take off all this mess and the next step will be uh, transforming his arms uh, you have this panel yes hide this panel right there bring this panel down rotate here and close the panel and just extend the arm we're going to do the same here there you go both arms are already transformed you just need to rotate here from the waist and now let's going to transform his legs we're going to bring here the gas tank we're going to slide this one down slide this one down and you can see here uh, on the bottom of the truck we have two panels this will cover uh, both wheels we do the same here once you've done that you just extend both legs and bring these panels to the front you have here his feet heel feet heel and that's it there we have uh, already transformed transformers masterpiece optimus prime in robot mode very very nice transformation uh, and a very good looking Optimus Prime. You don't have the wheels. Uh, the body is well, well formed. You can see it's not back heavy. Really, really nice. I, I love this figure. And I did, I did have in my hands uh, the MP1, and to my point of view, I think this is much better. Here's his EN cannon, which you can put here on his hand. You can see that it has articulated fingers. Uh, his finger here has articulation. You can open here his hand and fit his EN cannon. There you go. Very 
Okay, nice. Also, yeah, there's uh, you can. S uh, uh, I don't know, but this piece of the finger keeps uh, keeps falling off there. Okay. Uh, you can store uh, the Ian Cannon. You just transform this. Like this. Push this button to release uh, the weapon. And you can open here from the back and put the weapon right there. Oh, let me see how it goes. Oh man, it's very, very sensitive here. So, it will. How it goes. This, no, this, this way, there you go, and close here, no, doesn't go that way uh, either, ah oh, man, come on, just fit in there, there you go, there, on the back, right there, there's his weapon storage. And of course we have here his underground axe, which will fit here on his fist. And you can see that's very loose here on mine. And there you go. That's his underground axe. Very nice. Now we have here the maintaining stock. So we put this guy up here and you can fit Optimus Prime inside here and there's where Optimus Prime has his maintenance there and the way we have Spike with Wiki fixing Optimus Prime you can open up here his chest and fixing their Optimus Prime somehow <laughs> very nice as you can see it looks very nice that that, that part. So that's the way I, I like to display my my uh, masterpiece Optimus Prime. It's a very good way to to store this guy. Finally, we have here uh, the matrix of leadership on his chest. So you need to pull this uh, little piece, which is the the pen there, and there we have another black panel. So you have to lift that one up too. A little bit stuck inside there. Yeah. There you go. There you go. And there we have uh, the matrix of leadership. You can take here his matrix by pushing. Oops. It's a little bit heavy for a small piece but this is his matrix of leadership very nice very shiny does have that uh, blue uh, gold and silver appliance there uh, I don't usually take this off so I, uh, it is recommended that you leave uh, the matrix of leadership inside his chest forever because these pieces uh, tend to get lost that's my recommendation. Now I can't fit the damn thing <laughs> inside of Optimus Prime's chest. Well, I will do it later. Oh man, now it got stuck. <sighs> well, I'm going to leave it uh, that way because it just got stuck on me. So uh, that's uh, Masterpiece Optimus Prime, the Toys R Us exclusive, and this is a special review because this is uh, a celebration for me because I just reached a thousand subscribers on my channel, Juberu77, and I'm very thankful and very grateful to all of you that have been watching me all the way from 2006 uh, to date. Uh, 
I joined up uh, YouTube uh, back uh, in 2006, uh, a year before uh, Transformers was, uh, film was released. And I have been doing video reviews of Transformers since then, uh, stop motions. And over the way, uh, I have grown my subscription uh, number. So now I have reached a thousand. I'm very thankful, and I hope I can reach two thousand, three thousand. Uh, very soon so uh, keep watching my video reviews uh, keep asking questions doubts and I uh, will get gladly uh, respond uh, to them and I hope uh, you can still keep up with me uh, with these video reviews uh, and I thank you very much uh, for being with me these past six years I can say or oh, six years uh, in my Yuga Rule 77 channel so thank you very much and here we have Transformers Masterpiece from Toys R Us Optimus Prime <laughs>